we have a triangle ABC. We're given all of the sides in terms of x, and then we're told two angles. Angle A is 60, and angle C is theta. And then we're trying to show that this quadratic equation is true. So we have two options. We're either going to be using the sine rule, or we're going to be using the cosine rule to be getting some kind of equation that relates these things together. We're not going to be using Sokotoa. We don't know if this is a right-angled triangle, so we can't use Sokotoa. So let's think about the sine rule and the cosine rule. So for the sine rule, remember that we have to pick two pairs of angle and the side opposite to it. So we only have two angles in this case, so we have to pick this pair and then this pair. So if we use the sine rule, then we will end up getting theta in our equation. We don't have theta here. So that suggests to me that we're not going to be using the sine rule here, at least not to start with, but we're going to be instead using the cosine rule. So if we're using the cosine rule, well, we have this angle here, 60 degrees. We can say that, well, that is already called angle A, actually, so that's convenient. We can call this side A. This will be side B. This will be side C. So let's put this in the equation. I'll write out the equation first. So A squared is B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. So putting everything in, we end up with 3x plus 10 squared is 7x squared plus x plus 2 squared minus 2bc, so minus 2 times 7x times x plus 2, running out of space here, times cos 60. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll write that out in full down here. So Let's expand this out. The left-hand side becomes 9x squared plus 60x plus 100. And that's equal to 49x squared plus x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus. Okay, so this term, cos of 60 is equal to a half. So that means that the 2 multiplied by the half will cancel out. So we're just left with the negative of this. Multiply that out, we end up with 7x squared minus 14x. So that's also including the minus sign that we have here. So let's just simplify both sides. So 9x squared plus 60x plus 100. The right-hand side we can write as, so these three combine to give 43x squared. Those two combine to give minus 10x. And finally, the plus 4 is just by itself. Now we'll bring all of this to the right-hand side. So 43 minus 9 is 34. Minus 10 minus 60 is minus 70. 4 minus 100 is then minus 96. Divide by 2. And hopefully this is the answer. Yeah, nice, perfect. Okay, part two, hence find the value of x. So, well, we're just solving this equation then. Put this quadratic into your quadratic equation solver in your calculator, and you end up with x is equal to three, or x is equal to minus 0 0.941. It can't be the negative one, because if you look at the triangle that we have, well, this side will then end up being negative, which doesn't make sense. You can't have a negative side. So x can't be minus 0.941, x must therefore be 3. So that is then our answer to part 2. Okay, so on to part b, hence find the value of theta. Let's just write on our triangle what sides we have now. So we know that x is equal to 3, so this side will be 21, this side will be 19, and this side will be 5. We're now trying to work out what theta is, so now we can actually use the sine rule. So, sine theta divided by, so here is sine theta, 5 is the opposite side, so sine theta over 5 is equal to, and now we can use this angle and this side, sine 60 over 19, rearrange, so that'll be 5 sine 60 over 19, this gives 5 root 3, 
all over 38. Inverse sine of that. And we end up with 13. So what is it wanted to? One decimal place, 13.2. So whenever you're using the sine rule for these kinds of triangle questions, you always want to be careful in thinking about whether this is going to be your angle or whether your angle is going to be 180 minus 13.2. Remember that for a sine graph, so here would be 13.2, there would be two solutions within 180, within the range of 0 to 180, so this one here would end up being 167, that's just doing 180 minus 13. Those two are solutions for theta. But does that make sense in this case? Well, if we look at our triangle, we know that this side is 60. So therefore, this angle can't be any bigger than 180 minus 60, which would be 120. This angle can't be any bigger than 120. So therefore, it wouldn't be 167. Our answer will then just be 13.2.